Now, the remarkable young people from across Britain and Ireland are being recognised with Rotary Young Citizen Awards each year. Uh, Rotary Club nominate, they nominate youngsters for the awards each year and the winners will be presented with their prizes in Nottingham this Sunday. Well, throughout the week, we've been hearing from the winners. And joining me now from our studio in Leeds is 15-year-old George Hussar, who's turned his life around following a tough start in life. He's now a volunteer activity assistant at a youth club in Leeds and has crowned Catch Volunteer Assistant of the Year 2018. Now, George, I'm going to come to you in just a moment, but first I want to talk to Owen O'Brien and uh, also to Ava. Uh, this is Ava Jones. They join me from Cork. They're peace advocates at their school and helping to organise a Pride Day at the school where students can celebrate diversity. Thank you both for joining us. Now, um, I don't know which one of you wants to go first with this, but I w you had to do a survey of the problems facing other pupils at the school and I, I'd just like to, you to explain what you found. So our survey showed that students found second year to be one of the most emotionally challenging years in school. So in response to this we set up our own resilience academy where our aim was to build resilience in our students and to reduce their anxiety. This is really important to us as Ireland has one of the highest rates of death by suicide in Europe for teenage girls and one of the second highest rates among teenage boys. Often teenagers are expected to cope without ever explicitly being taught how to do so. So we're teaching our students the knowledge, skills and tools that they'll need to cope with their challenges in a healthy manner. So Ava, how are you doing that? Well, last only yesterday we brought in uh, Dr. Jacqueline Jeffries and she actually talked to our second years about um, safety and online safety and last month we took 72 second years to Dublin to a mental health conference at the Tree Arena where they were talked to by the likes of Dr. Harry Berry and we learned it's okay not to be okay and it's certainly okay to ask for help and we brought in Dr. Maureen Griffin as well who um, talked about online safety to the second years and to other years as well and show them um, different passwords and safety methods and online bullying and she really went into cyberbullying with them. So Owen, having identified the problems, now talk to me about Pride Day because what, what's the purpose of that? So in our school we want uniqueness at, and diversity to be celebrated and to become normal. So our aim with the Pride Day is to show everyone that everyone is different, everyone has their own set of skills and personalities and hobbies, and that no one should be judged, everyone should be accepted. And Ava, finally, what, what is winning this award? What, what would it mean to you? Well, it's a great accomplishment, really, and it's a great honour. You know, there's so many people to thank and we're so grateful for everything. But it's such um, a great achievement and it lets us know that we're on the right track and it encourages us to keep going. Um, Peace Advocacy has only been in Ireland for 18 months and we're still only laying foundations and exploring possibilities. And it really is just telling us that we're doing a good job and to continue with the Peace Advocate programme in our school. Well, I think you're understating. You're both doing an amazing job. Uh, Owen O'Brien and uh, Ava Jones, thank you both very much. Many, many congratulations. Great to talk to you. <laughs> Now, let's move on to George, because, George, I, I, I've been reading your story. Uh, do you want to just explain to people what your life was just over a year ago? Because, yeah. frankly, you were, destined, you were destined for prison. Yeah, yeah, so that's, that's what happened. So last year, before I joined Catch, um, I was basically inside of school and outside of school. And inside of school, I was um, with the wrong crowd. And what I would do inside of school is I would fight people. Now, in year seven, you know, people would say, go back to Czech Republic, and I'd always fight them uh, for that reason. And eventually, I got excluded from that school. And then it went to outside of school, where I was hanging out with the wrong crowd, and I was going around smashing taxis, um, fighting random people, egging houses, and eventually I got like, really, really in trouble with the police. And so I got put in custody, and I didn't really think I'd have a life from there. And then uh, they let me out of custody and that's where um, Round they inf informed me and they said that you know they've, they've got something for me which is a plumbing course and also I got introduced to Catch which is a, which is a youth uh, based charity um, in Hare Hills and you know I met Ash and he told me uh, to become a volunteer and ever since then my behaviour has changed, I've, I'm more mature now, I get to help out young children uh, that experience the same problems as me, I get to relate to them. Well, it's, it's amazing to hear the story, and given where we are at the moment, and every day in the news we hear about 
knife, knife crimes, gangs, the need to carry weapons, and, and that's a culture you understand. What, what advice do you give youngsters who say, well, look, actually, I, I need a knife on the streets. I, I, I only feel safe if I, if I carry a knife. I mean, I wouldn't say uh, carry a knife. I, I, know, I know lots of people uh, that I know, they always have to carry a knife with them and say, you know, that they're not safe. But I'd say, you know, it'd be better just to surround yourself uh, around people that are positive and that can help you and they can support you through the way and find yourself a, a, a youth charity uh, that will help you out and they'll support you throughout the whole way. And George, at what, at what moment did you realise I, George, need to turn my life around? Was it, was it being kicked out of school or was it being in a prison cell? It was in the prison cell. Uh, what was going on is I'd hear people shouting and, you know, banging on the cells and I really didn't like it. And from then I knew that something had to change. And when they let me out, that's when I started to change. I, started, um, hanging, I stopped hanging around uh, with the people in the crowd. And doing that, I also had effects. So when I stopped hanging out with the people, you know, my house got smashed up, my dad's cars got smashed up, you know, I got a ketchup in front of my door and everything. So what does life hold for you now? I mean, now I'd say I've changed a lot. I'm proud of myself and my family are proud of me. I have a plumbing course that's coming up in September and later on in the future, I think I want to train to be a firefighter. Do you know what? It's a great privilege to talk to you. Amazing what's happened to you, and uh, good luck with thank your you. future, and congratulations on this recognition. George, thank, you, thank you very much. And to Owen and Ava, to other remarkable youngsters. It's always a, good, uh, a great pleasure to do uh, these interviews every year here on Afternoon Live. Thank you all very much. Thanks. Thank you.